Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about another PDF editor that is really simple to use and very intuitive, which is called iTop PDF. If you enjoy videos like these where I show different software for editing PDF files or any other files in Windows 11, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. You can download iTop PDF from their official website. We're going to have a download link in the description below. Below, and of course you can download it for free also in the description below you're going to have more info about a giveaway that i'm doing with the guys from itop pdf with a hundred free licenses just for the subscribers of this channel just go ahead and click on the free download button download it install it it is a really simple installation process next next and finish and then you can start using the software this is how the software looks when you first open it up it has a nice very minimalistic interface and in the start menu up here you have all the main functions of the software also you have another menu here if you click on it you have access to additional settings that it can change if you want a more in-depth look over the software first of all before talking about any of the functions that this software provides let's open up a pdf document and start editing it i have here a template that we can start editing and itop pdf will help us do that now when you open up a pdf file as you can see in the left side you see a preview of all the pdf file pages now at the top you have more functions regarding the menus that you select from up top and of course, in the left side, you also have thumbnails, you have bookmarks, you have comments, and also attachments if there are certain attachments in the PDF file. First of all, you have two options. You can have the select tool that will allow you to select text and object, also the hand, which will help you move throughout the PDF document more easily. In the view menu, of course, you have some functions regarding the viewing of the document. You have the page zoom, the actual size, the page view, the continuous page, rotate pages, light mode, or you can select dark mode if you want. You have capture and also search if you want to find some content in your document. In the left side of the view menu also you have some features for example converting PDF to Word, PDF to Excel, PDF to text, PDF to PDF, PDF to PPT, compress and also image to PDF. If you have an image that you want to convert to a PDF document as easy as that you can just click on this button select your image and your new PDF document will be created. Next up we have the convert menu and here we can convert to Word, to image, to Excel, to text to pdf to ppt and also we have the other functions image to pdf office to pdf and also files to pdf for the purpose of this video i'm just gonna convert this pdf document to an image and i'm gonna save it on the desktop as you can see here and you have here also the save type long image or by page or by page and of course the image format i'm gonna just go and select long image and then convert to image and then we can just open up the image that we've just created and we should have a long image created from our pdf document and i think this is really really nice and simple to use now in the editing menu we have a whole bunch of options that we can try in order to edit our pdf document we can click on edit content and we will be able to edit the text or add a text just use the select tool and enter your preferred text for example i'm going to enter here text based and of course you can change the font the size of the font the paragraph arrangement in the page and more info you can bold the text you can underline it and more stuff like that also if you want to add text you have a dedicated tool will allow you to select a certain location on the PDF document and insert your text. For example, again, I'm going to insert the text based text. And also, you have a button style that you can choose in order to select the font, the text size. For example, let's make it a little bit bigger and also the text color. As easy as that. If you're not happy with how this turned out, you can just click on the delete button and the your text will be deleted. You can also add an image by clicking on add image button. For example, I want to add the image there. I'm just going to select an image and then I can simply resize it. I'm not happy with the size of it. I can also add a comment. I can change the style. I can delete it, rotate it and also link in URL or page. For example, let's go to style and change the transparency. I'm going to change the transparency to 50% so that the image is not really opaque. And I think this looks really nice. We can also crop the page. So for example, I can crop it like this and select the location I want it to be cropped. Click on crop and the page will be cropped. I can also add or edit my watermark. I'm just going to add a watermark and I'm going to input the text text based. As you can see, this is how the watermark will look. I can add a transparency effect. So for example, 70% and I can add a rotation that 40%. Let's increase the proportion of page so that the watermark will be on the full page like that as you can see it here and also i think it's better that if we increase the transparency a bit to 80 percent 
and click on add and our watermark will be added easily we can also add a link if we want add at link select an area where you want to add a link or jump to a page for example let's open up youtube.com if we click there and then click on okay and easily you'll be opening up youtube.com if you click on that you can also add a bookmark for example here and as easy as that it was added we also have the comment menu where we have a lot of functions regarding the commenting part of a pdf document which is pretty important for a lot of people and we can highlight certain things in the pdf document as you can see here as easy as that we can add shapes text text boxes comment boxes notes and more i think this is really really useful and you can use it to make your pdf document to be easier to understand or be completed with information we also have the protect menu where we can encrypt our pdf document i can add a password one two three for example add password and when i'm saving the pdf document and i want to open it i'll be required to enter that pdf password i can also search select for redactation and also search and redact and also add a signature which is another very useful feature that a lot of people will want i can type it draw it or insert from an image i'm just gonna draw it here create it and i'm gonna add it to my pdf document of course you can select it you can resize it and more as easy as that now in the pages menu you can rearrange pages if you want just drag and drop pages between one another you can rotate you can extract pages you can replace pages crop pages also combine pdf or sp split pdf and also the compress option which is really good for larger pdf files for example this file is very small but if you want to compress files just select the compress level to strong save it to desktop click on compress and you should be good to go and you're gonna see that we saved up some space of course for larger pdf documents the saved space will be bigger and in the last menu we have some tools we have the converting tools that we've talked about and some simple tools that will allow it to do simple edits to the pdf documents such as compress combine signature and watermark of course if you want to save the pdf document you can use the keyboard combination control s or you can go to menu save as and select a name and where you want to save your pdf document in my opinion itop pdf is a very nice and simple to use pdf editor that you can use for pdf for existing pdf files or for creating pdf files i think this is a very nice tool for Windows 11. As I've said, we're going to have the download link in the description below and, and also the giveaway information with a hundred licenses for the subscribers of this channel. This was the video for today. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.